Hey all, Alex from Music Hub here, and today we'll be doing a review of the 2013 biography by Marie Arana, Bolivar, American Liberator. Simón José Antonio de la Santísima Trinidad Bolívar y Palacios, born the 24th of July 1783 in Caracas, died the 17th of December 1830 in Santa Marta, Colombia. Education, personal tragedy, and an inherent rebellious nature would radicalize Bolivar at a young age as he sought to liberate his home country of Venezuela from the oppressive rule of Spain. The liberation of Venezuela would turn into the liberation of the better part of Southern and Central America over the next 20 years. And while Bolivar wasn't initially eager to do so, he became the face of the rebellion and the de facto leader of this group of nations. It's no wonder Bolivar received comparisons to George Washington, although unlike Washington, Bolivar couldn't keep this disparate group of regions together, and the end result was a bunch of fractured individual nations and Bolivar dying in poverty. This book was written by Marie Arana Campbell born the 15th of September 1949 in Lima. Born to a Peruvian father and a white mother, Arana was a major figure in the publishing world for a number of years, working at institutions such as Simon & Schuster, and she also spent a while working at the Library of Congress. Her first work in the realm of book writing was her 2001 memoir, American Chica, uh, which was relatively popular, and since then she's written both nonfiction and fictional works surrounding her Latin American heritage. This work on Bolivar is her only published biography to date. But what a biography it is, and I think this book is a terrific example of what it means for nonfiction to be artistic. Arana has a lot of editing and publishing experience under her belt. She knows how to tell a compelling story and to keep the reader equal parts interested and informed. Her language isn't flowery per se, but it has a color to it, using well-placed adjectives and the occasional direct quote to paint a scene super effectively. Not being the most aware of South American history myself, I never felt out of my element here, but nor did I feel like this was oversimplified. It's just that she's good at explaining the messy stuff, particularly during those times when Bolivar is conquering nations so prolifically that they almost blend into each other. Like, oh, which, which one is he conquering now? Bolivar himself is given the treatment of a seriously flawed legend. For as much good as he did, Bolivar was extremely flawed, and the power-hungry paranoia that he would demonstrate in his later years has been said to have influenced future South American leaders to the point that some of them ended up going down the route of dictatorship. Bolivar was an elite wartime commander who struggled heavily as a peacetime commander, and many of those peacetime years he spent fighting the battle with tuberculosis that would ultimately take his life. But the compelling just force of his personality shines through the pages, and his ability to get people to commit to following him is totally unsurprising with that in mind. I know some have complained that this book doesn't spend enough time analyzing Bolivar as military commander, and it's a valid point of criticism for sure. There isn't really much in the way of like military theory or anything like that here. But that said, other books out there surely cover this area very effectively, and for what we get here, I have zero complaints. The author having a fiction background is an extra spark that most biographies lack. This one just has an extra oomph to it, and make no mistake, it's worth your while. Give it a read. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Music Hub.